Good day, my listeners. Welcome once again. Today we are going to talk about Agu. What is Agu? Agu is the divine spirit that has the responsibility of guiding and controlling behavior of one that has supernatural task and assignment. This means that every man that came into this physical world has an assignment. And this divine spirit called Agu are the helping energies towards the realization of a man's destiny or assignment. In another words, there is another term uh, used to explain this Agu. Some call it Ezumezu Agu because, you know, we have, we have different kinds of Agu. Now, Ezumezu Agu is the total number of all the divine spirits that has been assigned to man as helping hands towards the realization of his or her destiny. You see, today in Igbo land, once they hear about Agu, many people think so much that it is all about being evil, that Agu is an evil thing. So many people don't know the meaning of Agu. You see, if I want to have Agu, you have to have the backings of air, Ikuku, water, Mary, Earth, Nanya, Nidiaso, and the sun, Anya Munaabala. Without this element, Agu cannot function. And also, without Agu, nothing can be created in reality because we are all spirits. We are all Umu Agu. So if you have Agu, it is a blessing. You should know it. That Agu is the father of all natural powers known to humanity. And that Agu is the secret behind creation. Agu is the owner of magic, sources, wonders of everything that we see. Every natural energy. Everything is answerable to Agu. Now we have so many types of agu and their animal symbol. But before I go into that, let me really, really do justice to this explanation. Agu, many people see it as a deity that knows uh, Chuku, the universe. Agu is the allusion of wisdom, divination, medicine, reincarnation, and purpose. That's the purpose why you are here on earth. Because Agu is the collective universal mind that oversees all knowing, learning, and becoming done by living things and life forces. Agu is the first in the chain of messaging from Chineke, meaning that if Chineke has a message or a purpose for an individual, that message is embedded in Agu. And Agu, your Agu will bring it to the human heart. Because every living thing has Agu, including Alusi deity. Therefore, Agu is able to exist in the world of spirit as well as the world of the living. Agu is that force that all Alusi use in communicating with the physical world. Agu is like a direct cable into the mind of Chuku and every deity that exists. Because Agu is the one that holds everyone's destiny and everyone's ability to be creative and unique. This means that it comes with your reincarnator, Onye Noromadowa, to fulfill your destiny or purpose in life. Everything you seek to know and understand is already deep within your mind. So if you look with it, you will be able to pull from an infinite well of wisdom. This deep mind is known as Agu. Once a person learns to communicate and withdraw from their Agu, they become a Dibia. A Dibia means the master of what is to come. A master. Agu is the allocy of the Dibia, a source of the sacred and universal wisdom. Everyone has a reincarnator, Onyongwa, 
as some will call it in Igbo language or onye noro mado wa. Therefore, when a person's incarnate purpose is to become a Dibia, the person's onyo wa is referred to as Agu. Any person with Agu often feels they have warm foot in the spiritual world and the other in the physical. Any individual with Agu is born with deep and active intuition and a heightened ability to sense spirit, communicate with them. Hmm? You know, spiritual presence that supersede the average person. When Agu select a person, that's Agu Mamadu, a person's life will become filled with calamity, misfortune, failure, disappointment, tragedy, and a host of others. This is because the person has not settled Agu. <laughs> that does not mean that Agu is evil. But this is how it comes for those who don't know, who are not aware of it. That this is how it creates awareness. This is how it troubles the person so that you, 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 you have to start looking for what is the problem. You know, some people will become ill and struggle with socializing as well as financial difficulties. They feel an increasing detachment from the world throughout life and also a greater sense of purpose. But if this individual allowed, uh, allows the clue to linger without making peace with Agu, it leads to Alagu. It's going to spoil a lot of things. If you neglect it, it can lead to madness. So we have to be careful. That is why it's very good that when parents give birth, you need to go for spiritual consultation to trace the destiny of that child. We used to do it in the olden days to avert future uh, problems, to avert anything that will destroy the child's life path or destiny. But nowadays, due to the advent of Christianity, parents no longer do that. And because of this, if the person has an agu in their life, it's going to disturb the person because if they had traced it from uh, earlier stages, the agu can be appeased so that it will not disturb the child's uh, future or disturb it in the future. The child will welcome it with the help of the parents so that when the time comes for him to start his work, he will start his work effortlessly without being disturbed by agu because the, the, uh, while growing up, the parents must have aligned and instituted the agu if they want the child to start off immediately or they just appease the agu by doing a korem agu and ask agu to give the child some years for the child to mature, become uh, 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 something in life or at a certain age that the child will take up the responsibility. You understand? So if agu is not appeased, it can lead to madness. A mental illness like schizophrenia or bipolar because if agu is sending a message to an untrained mind it can overwhelm the person this is the reason agu is also known as mwambasa like someone is confused you know during my time in life when i was under this phase everything that i do always end up in calamity disappointment Failure at the age of uh, breakthrough, uh, loss of jobs, you know, because I'm not fulfilling my uh, life path, my destiny. I'm, I'm not even aligned with it. You see, it can even destroy one's marriage. Yes, if you don't appease Agu, if you don't institute it, if you don't give it attention. I am a living witness. A lot of things went wrong completely in my life. I was stagnant. Nothing I ever do work. People see me and hate me for nothing, for doing nothing. Repeated. In fact, it was a cyclic uh, uh, a failure. Then, when I haven't attended to my ago. So, more or less, Agu is associated with mental illness, 
personal strife, sadness, depression, grief, and misfortune. All these are happening to call your attention, that ago needs your attention, that you are not living your destiny. You have not aligned with your destiny. You have a lot of work to do. You need to come back and follow your destiny. That is why Agu is behaving like this. It communicates to mortals with a heavy hand. Well, an example of how Agu communicates is like uh, a sensation of hunger if you are hungry. Eh? It comes to you as a pain and discomfort. And if you are able to read the sensation correctly, it is a call to action. You find a meal that satiates uh, the hunger and enriches the body. Therefore, you can think clearly after eating. Abria, oh yeah, listen, no, no, what no, we are not even In Igbo language, you can say "ago na agum" as a way of saying "I'm hungry." But this statement translates as "ago has uh, 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 dealt with me." Ago, uh, aguam. Eating in this case symbolizes making peace with Agu. Do you understand? For someone that who is choosing to be a Dibia, which a Dibia or a chosen person must eventually do. Abatariano so abun Agu maage Agu Dibia maage Abatariano so. Failure to eat to eat will lead to a lot of problems, calamity. You, in fact, uh, let me use that uh, biblical whatever example of Jonah and the, the, the shark or fish. A shark. That is how Agu is so disturbed until it is appeased. Whereby it is not appeased, it can even lead to, lead to death. Yes. Or perpetual madness. You see, Agu points people towards their direction, towards their purpose. By destroying those things that interest you in life that do not align with your purpose on earth. Onya Gumar, if you get the choosing one often witness recurring disaster throughout their lifetime. Agu tells you that you are doing the wrong things by orchestrating suffering. In Atazia Fofo, it causes individuals to drift into isolation and show signs of madness that grow over time. Agu selects a Dibia through the maternal lineage. So, Abu ni wa Agu, Oga si na bulu benne, mo Abu bulu benna. Ani ho potarabona, if there is Agu Dibia in your maternal lineage, then either you or any of your siblings might be chosen. Even if your paternal, paternal home does not have any Dibia in their lineage or have Alice in their lineage, it does not matter. As long as now we are going to either of the lineage or Gamalele Madu for the person to do Agu Dibia, Mobuna Agu Dibia. Eh? Agu select. So once a person is chosen by Agu, just be ready to make peace oh, with Agu. You are expected to do this by building a shrine to Agu. Eh? Institute it. Unlike the shrine to your chi, or that an individual built to communicate with their own chi. After doing that one, you can uh, the, it can be destroyed when the person passes away. The shrine to Agu is permanent. Do you understand? It's permanent in that lineage. There is no going back. But so the shrine to Agu is permanent and expected to be maintained by your descendant or the descendant of the person chosen by Agu. If the descendant refuses, Agu will fight. It will now lash out and bring misfortune. It brings misfortune it brought to the original choosing to the family as a whole. Onye abu na eketi eche. Onye vezi en sobu. E babu na mwazo onye choli imiye. Eh? Obwa chivelu unu uzo. 
So most families are uh, 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 expected to maintain peace with their agu. And once families that maintain peace with their agu, they are blessed with highly creative and intelligent children. It is through these children and these descendants that the blessings of Agu are brought to the world. Therefore, Agu is associated with art, creativity, and general ingenuity. I told you there are different kinds of Agu. I am coming to that. So when it has been identified that a person is selected by Agu, you have three choices. Number one is either to ignore it and continue with your life, then continue seeking alternative ways to deal with agu tribulation on your life. The second is to reject it through a ceremony known as Ipe Agu, whereby a choosing to be identifies the agu that is plaguing him or her. Then a ceremony is performed to break the bound it has on that individual. This is a way of asking the agu to choose someone else in the family. Because on your mara, eh, the choice belongs to the individual that is choosing to decide whether or not the person wants to follow the path Agu has predestined for them. This one does not come with consequences, but it allows the individual to live a normal life where the success and the consequences of their actions returns back to their own hands without any more torment of Agu in their life. Manongwe age limit. You see the clause here. But there is an age limit. That ceremony has to be done before one becomes an adult. So I was then all manifested before a bull adult. Now the third option is to accept the call. Make peace with Agu. Align with Agu. Institute Agu. In a ceremony called Hero Agu. How to communicate with Agu? How do you communicate with Agu? You see, Alpha is a binary code done through different methods. A Alpha spiritual consultation. That is the meaning. Alpha. Most people use seashells, precious stones, bottle tops, afugili. Sand, cowries, but this result of this alpha is decoded by the Dibia. Onye agu dibia ma. And this is read by the Dibia to the individual who comes for divination as a decoded and clear message from the spiritual world. All alpha communication is done through agu. It is said that agu is the spirit of alpha. A Dibia interprets Afa for the mortals the way I will interpret it for the spirits on the other side. So Afa and Agu are necessary in connecting you with deities, ancestors, marinas, that's in the mili, huh? unborn children, the Yuwagi, Chuku himself, Chinekeo Kikekerowa. It is almost like a phone call or a system of internet where two computers are communicating with each other in different dimensions. Another means of communicating with Agu is through meditation. It is important to, to remember that meditation in Igbo cosmology is simply anything that allows you to enter deeper into your mind. So everyone has their method of meditation based on who they are. And Igbo culture allows everybody to find their path of communication with their chi, their agu, their ezumezu agu, that's, and their whole, the total of their universal spiritual guide. This could involve ego more. Hmm? Every day, it could include sitting in silence, taking deep breaths, dreams through your dreams, 
You can talk to yourself, soliquelize. Uh, you take a walk or you sit in seclusion. There are different ways uh, of meditating, of trying to connect. Some go to the mountain. Some go to the forest. Some play music. All of these are relevant uh, meditative practices. But remember that everyone is different. What works for A might not work for B, obviously. <laughs> so do what works best for you to achieve the end goal, as that is between you and your agu. These moments allow messages from agu to come clearly from the spiritual world to, this, to the person as you have pulled far enough from the material world to confine in their inner mind. Because many people that have Agudibia, they talk too much. They can't even keep secrets. So you have to be very careful. If you have Agudibia, you are choosing one. Do you also know that the tortoise and snail are symbols of Agu? The tortoise and snail are both creatures that are able to enter into themselves and able to emerge with true wisdom. Why the rest of us rely on our four minds or we rely on our external observation? I know a cliff. That is how to enter into the spirit realm. You will draw into yourself, but you are still there physically. But your spirit, soul, mind, and body have gone on that travel to unravel things in the spiritual and communicate with the spiritual guides. There is afambe, anabu afambe, which is a form of afadon with a turtle shell. Abia na ceremony eba na arawu. In ceremonies where Agu is invoked, we use Ekwembe, the tortoise shell drum, to bring the spirit forward. Therefore, the tortoise is seen as a symbol of Agu, as well as the O, Ikwikwi, the squirrel, the snail, Eju, the ibis, no, no, the leopard, and the dog, Nketa. So, in a long, 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 Agu. In our affair constantly, especially in Kita, and a suyali, nukuten Kita. Mobu agu. And a suyalege. Mobu no, no, I do put in uju. Mo if we be in a buko, ejuna. You dream where you are packing snails, lot of snails. It does not mean stagnation. Snail is a spiritual animal, it's very mystical. One milli, they use snail in communicating. So, if you are aware you have been chosen by Agu to serve as a Dibia, the next step is to do a ceremony to initiate you as a Dibia known as Iru Agu. The ceremony allows the person to become a member of Wagu. Hmm? Iru Agu centers around an individual making peace with Agu and understanding their purpose as well as the reason for their tribulation and accepting their divinely ordained path as a Dibia. So you see, you have peace once you institute your Agu. All those calamities, disappointment, promise and fail, broken marriages, everything will come to a stop because you have honored and recognized Agu's presence in your life and you have accepted it and want to channel your destiny to the right path because it's your destiny. To be a restorer, a deliverer, a healer, a revealer to mankind and humanity. That is why you are given that power to become Mwadibia. So you see, once you accept it, the individual through Agu becomes a source of divine knowledge, insight and wisdom for the community around them and the world at large. They are the community's connection to the universal mind and wisdom of the universe as it is unable to be seen by the untrained eye. Every Dibia is a negotiator between spirit and person 
as well as a doctor, herbalist, healer, midwife, and psychologist. Once you make peace with Agu, the Dibia's powers are unlocked. They are able to read the sky and therefore serve as their community's calendar. Community, state, international, depending on their ability and spiritual prowess. The Dibia is able to read the forest and know which plants heal various ailments of the body without being taught. Nobody will teach you. It's Agu. You and your Agu. Agu na kuziligi fe. Those things that are unknown, they bring it to you. It becomes known to you. You see, the Dibia is able to listen to their intuition and pull from that well that teaches them things that will not otherwise be known. If using the ordinary mind. Therefore, when you accept Agu, it comes with great power and comes with a greater responsibility. Types of Agu and their animal symbol. Here we are. Makandena long love for those that dream and they don't understand. They don't know their dream. They cannot understand their dream. They are having it periodically, year to year, every day, almost like a nightmare. This, these are ways you know that you have Agu. Agu, buama mama siyamasi. Odio mimi. It is the greatest that knows all and acts through all the different types of agu that plague dibias and non dibias. So, one day, agu fabra agu dibia. Eh? Mana otu esia ragu fana di niche niche. If you give, and wala agu isi. Ebia ifo, unketa, mobumbe. Huh? That is the symbol. Types of agu and their animal symbol. Agu is dog, tortoise, or snail. Once you continue seeing them in your dream all the time, you have a big dog escorting you. You come to a particular place, maybe in your village. That for you to know where the agu is coming from. It might be from your maternal side. You see the dog escorting you. Or you see the turtle is coming towards you. Or always around you. Or you see yourself packing snail every time. Packing snail endlessly. Know that you have agu, you see. Agu here. You will see leopard or wild animals. All kinds of wild animals. It can be gorilla. Hmm? You know that you have agu here. That has to deal with herbs, haba. There is also agumiri for the mariners. Whenever you see colorful snakes or crocodile, anytime you see snail, you see snake following you up and down. Cause it might be colorful snake or black one or even a python. You see it uh, twine around your body. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You are not possessed. Because that is the translation people give. Once you have Agu, people who are ignorant of what Agu is will tell you that you are possessed. They'll say, oh, come for deliverance. Eh? Those days <laughs> in church, <laughs> they use broom to flog the hell out of me. Broom and palm front that I'm possessed. Because while I was growing up, I see things and I say it the way I see it. And it comes to pass. You look for my trouble. If I open my mouth against you, you are in trouble because it comes to pass. There are days I wake up, I don't feel like talking to anybody. I will withdraw into my own shell. There are days that I don't eat. All these are spiritual phases because of unappeased agu. Then I have not appeased my agua. I have not instituted it. 
but it was very, very active. Very, very. So, another type of agu is agu miri. You see colorful snakes or crocodile. You also have aguenu. I think for these uh, people that have uh, air element, ibis or o, that is the animal or bird representative. Ikuikui. Agundi chie, another type of agu. Here you see tortoise again or masquerade. Now, this one is peculiar. And there are some that have all these types of agu. They have everything. Agu na ha zulezu, akala madu, akala mwa. Afa zulezu. Everything that has to do with nature. Elements. They can walk with it and heal people. They walk with the four elements. Earth. Water. Air. And land so we have agu these are mainly uh, represented with masquerade when you sleep you see masquerade running around you some will come towards you as if they want to flog you but some they won't flog you after a while you continue seeing them screen yourself in the midst of masquerade please know that you have agu Agundiche, your ancestors, they are, they are the Indiche. So that means this Agu is an ancient one that is in your lineage. And they need your attention. So when you see, you can see different kinds of masculine like uh, Ajibusu, mm, Olaga. A whole lot of them, depending on the type that you have in your community, you might see all of them, they troop out in your dream. Either you are following them or they are following you or they are chasing you. My dear, you need to appease Agu and institute it. Then there is Agua here. Usually, dog is their symbol. Then this person has a talent for business. Can be any kind of business into entertainment, buying and selling, and so on and so forth. There is also Aguegu for musicians. Huh? Entertainers. This kind of Agu, you need to appease it. And institute it so that your talent as a musician will come out. Anybody that has agu of any kind, all you need to do is meet a good dibia for it to be instituted. So that everything you do, you will progress. You will move forward and stop stagnating in life. It is an unappeased agu that can trouble one. So seriously that you won't know what to do. So when you see these animals in your dream, please go for spiritual consultation. For you to know the type of agu that is disturbing you. There are also special dreams to know uh, the type of agu that is disturbing you. For instance, like in Bama Ma Berokmu na. I always see myself in the dream we are being chased by police people, military eh? or customs I'll just be walking on the road they will come out they will be, 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 fill the streets every nook and cranny I want to turn ah, ah, I say policeman, police women policemen ah, ah. I'll start running, they'll start chasing me sometimes I wake up in the dream in the midst of war the military will be fighting each other. They will be shooting gun around, but the bullet will not touch me. All these are signs for you to know that you have agu, that you are choosing. But in real life, you are not a police person. No. You are not an army person. You are not even a force person. 
So if you see all these police or army chasing you around in the dream, it means you have agu. If you see yourself packing plenty snails in the dream, it is a sign that you have agu. Eh? If you see dog following you around in the dream, it means you have agu. Go and do something about it. Go and appease agu. Go and do spiritual consultation. It is very, very, very necessary. So that you will know what to do. Agu is not a bad thing. What? You are possessed. You need to be delivered. Fire, fire, die, fire, die. <laughs> My dear, it's funny that I have to laugh. There are some people that Abu has dealt with out of ignorance. How can it be a bad thing? Something that has been in existence since ancient time. It's a privilege, it's an honor for you, for Agu to choose you. It is a great honor, a great privilege. So why waste time? Why dilly-dally? To the extent that it, it gives one madness, to the extent that you lose all you have worked for, because it deals with people so so much, so terrible that, oh, you lose jobs like I lost my jobs. How many times? Four times. Federal government jobs, state job, private. You see your boss one day will come and tell you, please, we don't need your services anymore. I'll be like, eh? What's going on? Says so like, nothing. Have I committed any offense? No. But why? We don't need your services anymore. Wow. I'll feel as if <laughs> so depressed. I became so depressed. Even once I get a job, I'll start anticipating in two years' time or one and a half year, a year and a half, that uh, I will be told work finish. Termination uh, letter. I lost friends. People see me, they hate me. I have not done anything wrong. These are signs that Agu is not pleased with you. You are not living your life as you, as you should. It got to a point that I lost everything. In fact, a black sheep. I lost everything that I've worked for in life. Because I wasn't aware. If you ask my, my, my parents, I, only my dad is late. If you ask uh, uh, my, uh, uh, my mom, she will say she doesn't know anything about it. You ask my father's brothers and sisters, they will tell you, Oh, no, don't talk about this. Nobody does this anymore. Hold on to Jesus. The other time, finish off your faith. Hold your Bible. And I've been holding this Bible for long. Nothing, no progress. Nothing, nothing. If you don't have a Bible, nobody to save me. Nobody to show me the way out. From church to church, I was looking for help, solution, assistance. Nobody could tell me my problem. In fact, it got to a point that I stopped going to church entirely. Because I felt the church has nothing to offer me. I came back home to my father's house because my marriage has packed up. Nothing anymore. I just came back with my son. If I'm going to die, let me die. Because I'm tired. As in tired. Gradually, I started noticing some things around me. Even though before in my life, when I was growing, at, my ago started disturbing me at the age of three years, to be sincere. Once I wake up in the dream, I, I narrate the dream to my dad. My dad would say, oh, thank you. Thank you, my mother. That is what he calls me, Nem, Dalon Nem. And he will act on it. And that's how it's going to be. At times it will be as if a force behind, be, be, beyond me is propelling me. 
telling me things. If you come in and you dare lie, I don't know how it happens. I will just look at the person and I will start telling you how, how the journey went or whatever you did you think you can keep in secret. I will reveal it. People will be afraid of me. I say, ah, okay, can one one see where my that was my agony. <laughs> so, you see, an unappeased agu can cause a lot of destruction. I became forgetful. You tell me something now, the next minute I've forgotten. I'll ask you, remind me again of what we discussed. All these things, agu, I remember. I stopped looking beautiful. My clothes are there in my box. Two, I have three boxes filled with clothes. But I just want to wear just one or two or three. I lost um, my sense of fashion. I can't even want to beautify myself anymore. It's just agu. So it comes in a lot of ways. Parents, help your children. It might not be in the first generation or second generation or third generation or fourth generation. As long as it is in your maternal language. Know that in future, Agu can select any of the children. And they must. Failure to institute your agu can lead to death, untimely death. And when I get more she so sharp sharp, onions they take you over. That is how it is. Or it can lead to madness. There was this incident of a woman that was married after having children, has started manifesting. The family was like, no, she can't do this in the traditional way. They went to TB Joshua. Of course, they couldn't uh, uh, get rid of Agu. They brought her back, went to so many churches, just because they are ashamed of their, uh, of their wife doing this in the traditional way. Until it led to madness. Agu kupiala, or yibaziala fulanya. Ona Agu ne memo da Allah banje. O kupiala, alandi otu. Especially if your Agu is Agu mili. When it now got to this point, the, her family started running up and down, looking for solution. Fortunately for them, or unfortunately, they had to go the traditional way. Because that's the way of life. Or the nani buzondo. They went traditional to seek for solution. And they told them, we told you this thing before. She's going to do it the traditional way. This brings me to people that... Say that, can I institute my agu and serve in Christian way? Some of you think that this is uh, something that you can do in Christian way. You cannot. Because it is indigenous to you. It is from your ancestral lineage. Abulunjozi, dinejozi, dinato, madabu, dinagoria. Oh, It came from Chineke. Kabiama is the giver of this gift. This agu is a gift, is an honor if you are chosen. Please accept with all pleasure and joy. Because you will reap the good deed. You will reap the good, uh, good fruit of it. If you really keep to your unso agu, makana agu unso. So many people will say, can I institute my agu and serve in Christian way? I will say no. It is impossible. Because your gift came from Chuku. From Chineke, Ukikekerowa. It didn't come from Jesus. Yes. We already have all these things. We know Chineke. Even before the Christian religion came to Igbo land. We serve Chuku in our own way. That is his name. I don't believe in G-O-D. Because that's the name for a foreign god. 
And whoever that is only Igbo that is worshipping a foreign god is an idol worshipper. But when you serve the gods of your land, it is indigenous to you. Look at India, Japan, China, doing exploit using their tradition and culture. Using their own spirituality, authentic one. Now we are ashamed because now bundi bo. If you are not megi, now go magi. Abu na agu di bi hasi kaya no waketa. Eh, kanje na na shrine, kanje na ebu abala. Ambaza do ebu ebu ne, abala tule. What is shameful there? What is really shameful in answering your call in the traditional way? Answering your call in the traditional way is very, very beneficial. Because everything you use to work for people is natural. You use nature. Mamilio, majani, moko, mi kuku. Ine kuku ifane, me mwane gegente. You know your spiritual guides and align with them. Your undi chie, your ancestors. Your chi makano chi buzo. Ya undi mili. Alo sigi, sogi biyo wa. You know all of them. Align with all of them. And your power is united. It can never falter for one day. You give them what they deserve. Nke nagi ni inye, osigi no koko oke na mune buli anu. Osigi no ebune makane ebune bu anu mo ebuli anu. Ram is the animal that the spirits love so much. Once you give it to them, they are going to reward you bountifully. So anytime your agu demands anything, you give it. You energize it. For it to reveal more for you is a revelational force. It is a creative force that we all need to fulfill our purpose and destiny here on earth. I will not quote words because you need a good guide so that you have a solid and pure foundation. If not, the spirit that called you one day can give you a sickness that you will hardly come out from. That's as if you institute your agu and go and be doing it in church way. Mbolo pastor, mbolo prophet, mbolo prophetess. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I say, Dr. Olunchi, you institute your chi in the crucifix. <laughs> you institute your chi in your flower. You don't know they are deceiving you. And when pastor wants to pray, he will say, oh, chim. Chimu. Chi pastor Isaac. Up in your Chim, chim, chim. You don't know that behind he has gone traditional to institute his own chi. Appease and align with his agu and his ezume ezumwa. That spiritual guide. The universal universality of all of them. Odozisienya in the traditional way. Obiazia in the Christian way because he wants to be accepted. And you don't know the message you are sending to your agu, your spiritual guide, is that you are ashamed of them. They will be watching you. One day, they will collect back their gift and turn their back on you. That is why you see them. Those people that say they are manifesting, powering in their churches. One day, one day, no more prophecy. No more miracle. No more healing. No more setting free the captive. They will run from pillar to post looking for what is wrong with them. Nothing is wrong, only that you are ashamed of your spiritual guide. You are ashamed of doing it in the traditional way. So for how long will you continue deceiving them in Christian way? And a man because there are things that are unacceptable to your agu. And it is one of these things serving in church way. When it has to do with nature, if Abuna Basaloka does it have anything to do with nature, something that was imported from another man's land, how is it indigenous to you that you are ignorant and you are mentally enslaved? That you are dominated by white supremacy that you cannot know your left from your right? Most times I don't blame people. Because our elders, our ancestors made that mistake. And I also cannot blame my ancestors because they were terribly 
brutalized. They uprooted everything that we stood for and made them cower in fear. They made them accept the Bible by fire, by thunder, by hook or crook. Some were taken into slavery. They took away our deities. Most were very pure and fine carved deities. Very, very effective and efficacious. A bluze jebenamba. Cassis and Uncle Denani Bonnet is in them bunny. You pay money, go to the museum and watch what was taken from your ancestral place. <sighs> but if you are sure that your call originated from our Denani Bo, one is that you will never have the zeal and passion to transform it to Christian way. Yes, you cannot. Once you know. That's nebo mwa fibo. Ne agu maloge no si na abulunu. Kerifi na abwa kiliniane. To do it in Christian way. You see, this is why you will see a pastor preaching at the altar, but his backyard is filled with deities. You become like a bat. You are neither here nor there. It is very bad. So if you answer your call in ordinary way, it will be good for you. If you answer your ordinary divine call in church way, you will not serve well in Egenti and you will never go far with it. Because your spiritual powers will have limitation because you will not be in good terms with your spiritual guide the way you would have been with your spirit. Your ancestral spirit and deities, which is your real evil way of worship, called you. And you answer in a foreign man way, thereby honoring your ancestors and rebuking yours. And you want to tell me that you will go far? You cannot go far. How can it be well with you? So please, my listeners, if you have agu, you are called in ordinary way. But you cannot be doing it in ordinary way and also in Christian way. A man walk, it cannot work. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. It is better you answer your call in the ordinary way so that you can be powerful. Your potentials will come out. Myself, I answered my call in ordinary way, which is my originality. Within the space of more than three years, I have peace. I have liberated a lot of people that were like me, moving up and down, headless, shoulderless, legless. They don't know that they have this call, Agu. It's my mission to restore them. See, this is what you are supposed to do. You have a call. And before you start off with Agu, please make sure you don't have anything clogging your path. Clear off every negativity. Every ocho. Hmm? Akaluweli. Obonuke, clear your path first. Appease your ndichie. Appease akwali omumu if you have committed the sin of abortion. Makalo kobo. Mwemobona poloku. If you have a call, you don't answer it with bloody hands. You have to do cleansing, not the cleansing you do with water and uh, 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 herbs or special soap. No, you do the real ordinary cleansing that is called ipochionunu. Ipualo, depending on the degree of offense. Because if you mistakenly commit any of this offense and you have a call in your life, they will so deal with you. They will so deal with you. Fagechi gonu na ne faga apoge gamu. 
until you come back and you do restitution. So if you are choosing to serve, please don't be afraid. No. I have access to social media because my spiritual guide allowed me to acquire education, to become educated. Because I need to balance the best of both worlds, the spiritual and the physical, and in the era that I'm in, this 21st century. I know how to use phone. I have my laptop. I use social media. Am I not a Dibia? Why would people think that once you become a Dibia, you pack your kaya and go back to the village and sit down there and look dirty and charge people 10 naira, 20 naira? <laughs> so you really need to be in touch with your agu. You don't fool yourself in the church. You cannot institute Agu and serve in church way. No. Capital N-O. And be very, very careful if you have Agu and you keep postponing, postponing. Or you go and do what they call Ekwere Magu. Ekwere Magu. Ekwere Magu is that you accept Agu. But you should be given some time. Like say four years or three years. So that you put one or two things in place before you come and honor your call. Eblo dibia mobuno Agu dibia mwage. Email Ekwemagu is not a guarantee. You must do your work. You must serve humanity. If you have a call of Dibia ship, it is to liberate mankind, to heal, to reveal the secret of the enemy, to use your power for good, not for evil. As soon as you have Dibia, that a Dibia is somebody that is evil, that bewinches people, that jazzes people. No. We have the good and the bad ones. Yes, I, I agree. It's left for you to know. So once you accept your agu, you agu, you instituted it. Beware of unso agu, because every agu where unso. Agu ni ni unso. Some they forbid them to drink um, alcohol. You can't drink alcohol. You have to be pure. If you are not married, please don't sleep with another man's husband. Or if you are a male, don't sleep with another uh, 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 man's wife. Some forbid them in eating cassava. Because it's heavy in the spirit. Because the deep yabu ojena mua ojena mada. Half human, half spirit. When you have done all your initiation right. Eh? You are kalam mada or kalam mua. You don't talk anyhow. You have to be in the midst of good people. You don't involve yourself in crime. You don't work for Yahoo Yahoo people boys. You don't use charm to hold people down. You are a liberator, a repairer, a healer. You can foresee the future and foretell it. A lot of things. You learn to listen and stay quiet when Agu is talking to you. Because when Agu is talking to you, onu onu you book on asu. Maka some dibia above and I watch my father mayhem. I will laugh at Jesus when I watch. Or drop one umma. Onyo mo bula mo lo bukbo kumele the traditional way. Opa chuku bolu goku. Ndi chie bolu goku. Ndi ane bolu goku. Ndi mire bolu goku. Because Everybody has the element. Even your spiritual spouse, your spiritual husband or wife, they have a, their part to play. They have their part to play in your call. They are your izume So you need to be in good terms with all of them. Keep your hands clean. So that whenever you are divining in the spiritual, it will be real, not fake. Or they care for, they can't for. Your agu speaks to you in ordinary Igbo language. It does not speak to you in English language. You should know. 
that the only way your ancestors can listen to you or hear you when you talk is when you speak in your dialect. That is how it is for the educated DBS. Yes, you will be on Facebook, enlightening people if you know how to write. You write, educate them. Like I'm on radio educating people. I thank Chuku for this opportunity today. I thank my Indiche. I thank my water people, the Mirimu. I thank my Chi. I thank my Ezumezu and Oramuwa. They are all my spiritual guys, those entities that made me who I am today. That made me to honor this call. I was astray, but they brought me back to the true path. So, in conclusion, Agu is not a bad thing. Let me refresh your memory on what Agu is. Agu is a blessing. Agu is not a cause. Agu is divine spirit that has the responsibility of guiding and controlling behavior of one that has supernatural tasks and assignment. And Ezumezu Agu is the total number of all the divine spirit that has been assigned to man as helping hands towards the realization of his or her destiny. Thank you, my listeners, for listening to today's uh, topic titled Agu. Bye.